anyway, relocation. The computer was full there while well, my phone was full. Uh, relocation is an absolute must for all those reasons. Um, you can get jobs uh, in the city. You can, uh, you know, even if it's just little jobs like walking people's dogs and stuff like that, um, that have you working around the hours that you want. Also, relocation is good for the kids because it means that they're not staying in the same environment and it's just daddy moving out, which is generally what happens, right? Um, and so when they go to dads, it's not as nice as mums because I, I was the other way round, right? So for me, it was like I had the tiny house in Bordeaux uh, and, you know, which it was tiny. It is tiny. I love it to bits, don't get me wrong. But, you know, we had the, the 200 square foot, well, square meter house with the, you know, two acre garden and the woods and the sea and da 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 and so they would go home every weekend, you know, and I was just heartbroken. And um, and Hector, my son, once said to me, Mum, we're not going to Dad's, we're going home. And um, one Christmas, I remember, uh, Zelly was the only one that stayed with me for Christmas, the little one. And when I took her back, um, so it was just after Boxing Day or Boxing Day or something, um, I popped her in the house uh, so I came in the garden because the garden whatever I came in the garden in the house dropped her off went up to my bedroom get something uh, my sewing machine so it was kind of heavy and stuff and I walked out no one knew I'd been and gone my ex-husband who was in the garden hadn't seen me the kids were all stuck in their bedrooms and no one was listening you know this is how it was everyone was stuck in their bedroom no family contact no family unity nothing it's like mum drive me there and i would drive them really happily because i didn't realize all this was going on and um they were really um you know and that's when it really struck me that i'd done a right thing to move and i put so much energy then into selling that house so that he would have to relocate so i think it's best for the children to have new environments on both sides it's a new start to the family it's a new um a whole new era for them both right um for them both um, for the ex-husband and the children and me, obviously. And, and, and so the whole family unit has been splattered. And I think it's much, much healthier to have a new environment for everyone concerned. So don't hold the house unless you have like a, a family house or, you know, it, even if you have a farm, I think you could uh, maybe... Um, I've read this book recently where they changed these farm in Cornwall and they made it into yurt farming, you know, because yurt was the dumb thing. Um, this is 2018 that book came out. So, um, you know, it's a big thing in England to go yurt. It was posh camping and all this. So you could have like, you know, yeah. 10 star camp sites and stuff and they made a real a turnaround of that but they weren't getting divorced it was just an idea so that you know if if you have a farm or something like that and you don't want to keep the animals or you know um because you whatever change you've got to have change so relocation is a must okay gotta go and deal with the laundry